Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 15 and 60. Okay, uh, the previous two episodes. Um, there were a few things we like got to know. Number one was the whole uh, like how like what was Risco's past, a little bit of her past, uh, how the Magi like M Magi is actually constructed. It's constructed into three parts and stuff like regarding those like we got a few background information and like Ritsuko's backstory that was episode number 13 yeah that was episode number 13 and episode number 14 was uh, kind of a flashback for the first portion but then we got the, into the real part that is um Rei Ayanami Rei uh, her you know psychological um the condition i think in the beginning they were showing us how like ray was um like acting in his in her own mind like she was talking about a few stuff uh which was a bit you know um weird and uh like then like the like ray's vangelion tried to kill shinji off and like they saved Shinji, all of those stuff, and then in the end, we got to know that Ray probably has a mission, a different mission, uh, which um, Shinji's dad gave it to Ray, and we saw like Ray in her Evangelion uh, walking. So yeah, let's see like uh, how it goes after that, and what happens to Ray, uh, like yeah, like what the actual deal is about all of this. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number fifteen of Neon Genesis Evangelion. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Hmm. There's this whole mystery uh, with the angels, you know, the angels, where they came from and like what they are, why are they trying to kill them and stuff like that. Now, like, I'm not even sure, you know, like we can kind of see Shinji's dad doing stuff, you know, regarding the angels to stop them. But I'm not really sure, you know, if Shinji's dad has the same intentions as the others, like you know all of the others are trying to protect the earth from these angels but i'm not sure you know what shinji's dad's you know motivation behind this whole thing is like it seems as if he only wants to experiment on the angels i'm not sure if that is for the betterment of humankind okay but maybe it's something else like he has some other intentions let's see Oh boy. Yeah, I'm thinking like if they dismiss them, like change his dad, what will happen? Oh. Okay. Which man? They're talking about um Yeah uh, what was his name? I forgot. Um God damn, what was his name? Uh, why did I forget? Kaji Kaji Lies and Silence. Oh. Hmm. 
confirm founder oh this is in doi kari press report to select oh Oh, ask us calling. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn, ask her. Regrettably, yes. Hmm. What? Friend of Nadia. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn. Necrosis operation project. <laughs> They're talking about wedding dresses. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh my. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, what's eating him? What? Why? What tomorrow? Oh, is that so? That's why he was like looking at Ray so many times. Obviously, because you are, yeah. Yeah. What? What? Wait, what? What? What, what is that? Like, like a. Um. Uh, oh, okay, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> the honk. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, like, he has to do it. Like, he can't run away from it. But he doesn't want to do it. So, yeah. Oh boy, yeah, if that's the thing that he remembers, like, and also, like, okay. Oh, he's...
chin held high what wait you meet your mom what what would we've never seen his mom before and he didn't even react like so the mom's i thought the mom was dead or something like oh so their mom's okay like i just <laughs> i just like you know wow that's like they're, they're cutting it off <laughs> oh boy Mm. <laughs> Buttering around. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh yeah, so Ikari, you so the the mom is dead. So by meeting him, it meant that okay. Man survives by forgetting its memories. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's so. How did? How did she die then? So Shinji doesn't even remember her, his mom or something. Like maybe she died. Was died? Uh, she died in when she, like Shinji was extremely small or something, and she can't remember. Wait, that was it. I see. <laughs> Ikari Yui, two thousand four. Woman who longed for the touch of others is in wow. Oh, Shinji can play the violin? <laughs> I did not know that. Okay. There's a violin, isn't it? Oh, who is this? Misato? Oh. Penguin. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh playing house Gas <laughs> over
Uh, oh, she. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. What's this, uh, for the type of? <laughs> wow, Kaji, this guy, damn. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Asuka's gonna freak out. Um. <laughs> so she's throwing up. She has to struggle off. Well, everybody changes, you know, no one stays the same. Oh, so she was the one. You were like my father. Oh, wait. Okay. Hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah, she ran away. Damn, like, it, it's ironic. Yeah, like, he, she advised that same thing to Shinji not to run away, but she herself. Hmm. Um, what? <laughs> Nani. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Brushed your teeth, okay. Um, uh, don't breathe. Oh, whoa. Um, he'll die like that, Asuka. 
Hello, Aska. Penguin's like, um, what's happening here? Come on, Aska, he'll die like that. You, like, he can't breathe. Uh, <laughs> the hell? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> wow. Great. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh. Mm, okay. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> oh, is she like doing that mission or whatever that she was given oh what is this what what is this what's happening terminal down Oh, damn. Oh, Misato. Oh, so Oh. So he's like a spy or something. Oh, what? What? What the hell? This is an original the lynch. This is second. Oh, Adam's the first angel, so that's why Adam. What the? Okay, I'm confused about a few bits. I'm sure we'll, uh, like it'll eventually get resolved. Okay, so like correct me if I'm wrong. So Kachi is a spy from the like uh, as you said the military department or something, which uh is like he is like spy for them, and like Ikari uh that is Shinji's dad, as you said like was using him. And he's, he, uh, because of using him, that's okay. But uh, for Misato, he said that, okay, I'm sorry about that. Like, sorry about deceiving you. Because obviously Misato has done nothing wrong. But uh, Shinji's dad and <clears throat> uh, Ritsuka, they know everything. And like, uh, Kaji kind of got to know about it. Okay. Um... I'm guessing that is the, like, you know, that is the long story short. Okay. Okay, that's the end. So, yeah, as I was saying, so the long story short is that he's kind of a spy and like doing his own thing here. And um, Misato is like in, under the dark, like she uh, like doesn't know anything. 
about what uh, Shinji's dad and Risco uh, they are doing and um, uh, Kaji like showed it to Misato uh, this episode and there's this angel that is crucified oh boy okay so okay so in the first episode uh, like uh, in the first part we see um kaji doing some kind of uh you know uh like research like uh, going uh, to like, he went to kyoto and was uh, gathering some information excuse me and okay so i think i have to um watch this portion later again because there are a few things that i really was unable to understand properly here okay let's see like we see like kaji in kyoto uh he knocks at a door uh, a door opens and it says it's me maybe some kind of informant that uh, like lady and the lady with the cats and then she says Shannon bio a chemical firm funded from overseas it's been here for nine years but it also hasn't changed in nine years okay so the Marduk Institute has 108 affiliated companies 106 of them uh, turned out to be dummy corporations uh, and this is the 107th this is the corporate registration you want me to take a look at the board of directors and it's written Gendo Ikari, Kyozo Fuyutsuki and Kiel Lawrence okay the names are all familiar the Marduk Institute is supposed to be an advisory body controlled by the human instrumentally committee to select the Evangelians okay so that means uh that means shinji's dad is like one was one of the directors of the marduk institute i'm i'm really confused about a few bits here like there are a few information that was given in this episode and because like obviously like this anime doesn't spoon feed you like you have to you know like uh like get everything i'm sure like uh, by you know uh, by a few more episodes i'll be able to understand each and everything like this like in this episode it was something that was <coughs> like uh, like revealed in this episode only so i probably have a little bit difficulty in this episode and uh, so the uh, Marduk uh, uh, Institute is controlled by the Human Instrumentally Committee to select the Evangelion pilots, which obviously, uh, like, so that means like uh, one of the directors is Shinji's dad. So he was able to pitch in Shinji for this, I'm guessing. Okay, what it really does is not clear. So people don't know what uh, the, you know, like, other than that, what it does. Okay. Uh, and uh, the lady said your duty is to investigate the nerve getting involved in the marduk institute is a bad idea okay well i'm the type who has to see everything from myself all right okay so that's it okay i kind of got it um so yeah like uh, so it turns out that he is kind of a spy and his task is to investigate the nerve but obviously uh, like he is digging a bit too deep into it and is getting involved with the Marduk Institute as well which obviously the lady said that you should probably not do because you'll get too much into it and won't be able to get out all right okay I kind of understood and then uh, after that we see like Shinji always like looking at Ayanami for quite uh, a few times and um, <clears throat> then they like are doing the tests and then he talks with ray okay so here's the thing then he says a weird thing he's saying that when you're cleaning today you were uh, okay she was wringing out the cloth the way you did it kind of reminded me of a mother okay uh maybe i think the so is he remembering his mom uh how she used to you know do stuff in uh, the house uh, i'm sure like uh, their mom died when 
Shinji was uh, young, a lot young, so obviously she, he cannot remember his mom properly. So, but obviously, like the things that they did kind of gets ingrained in your memory. So he kind of found similarity by the way Ray was doing stuff to his mom. Okay, so that's why like he was staring for so long. And yeah, and then uh, we get into like uh, Asuka's like. Uh, Asuka and like Shinji's uh, portion of the uh, like anime of this episode and Shinji thinks about the whole thing with uh, meeting uh, his dad again gets freaked out about that and then like um, they go to the wedding let's go um, Misato and Kaji and then we come to this portion where there's the graves now I was really confused when Misato suddenly said that you're going to meet your mom too aren't you I was thinking like what like so their mom is alive or something and uh, then like we got here and I just thought that oh like sh like meeting not meeting her meet like going to her grave and that way like she said that meeting her and his dad talked with him uh, in this episode for quite a while and um, yeah that was um, good I think you know like we've never seen uh, his dad talk to him so much about and uh, like some other stuff like he always likes look, talks with Shinji and says that get in the Evangelion, get in the Evangelion, do your job, do your job or get out, stuff like this. And so it was really good to see, you know, like him also praising him in the previous episodes and also like in this episode uh, talking with him about other stuff, something other than Evangelion. And he also talked with him and that's good. And then we see uh, uh, the, the nerve... Uh, what was that airship and ray was in it so and they went off with that now after that um uh like we see like shinji playing the violin and stuff and then again we go back to uh kaji's uh, portion and uh now <laughs> risco after seeing that souvenir he she caught it she said that so you went to kyoto didn't you and she like connected the dots and said that don't try to get too much into these kind of things uh, it'll be a, uh, like you'll get into a messy situation <laughs> okay so yeah so this kind of shows you know like Risco knows something and then we get into Misato's board portion of the now according to Misato like uh, like she okay so she broke up with Kaji and the reason behind it was because like she was looking for her dad like you know uh like in other people and like clinging to her past you know so like that means like obviously like we saw friend in the like in the previous episode the way like she said that i hated my dad but at the same time she said that i want revenge but uh, in this episode it is shown in a bit different way uh, this episode it was established that it's not that she wants vengeance it's because like she you know um like she wants to cling to her past that is the reason like she's doing all of this uh, not for vengeance but because uh if she you know forgets about uh, his like dad if she does not get involved in these kind of stuff she'll probably forget about his dad and uh, about her dad and that's what scares her most probably and uh, her like uh, breaking up with Kaji was also kind of her like running away from the situation not facing it and she at the same time like is laughing at herself and saying that uh, like who am I to uh, like lecture Shinji when I myself am a person who ran away from my own troubles and yeah so it's like you know a weird thing like she is conflicted about uh, like about the whole situation and like when she understood that uh, like Kaji is just like my dad and I'm like you know using that as a thing and uh, like she got conflicted about the whole situation and like she that's why she broke like broke up but yeah like I always thought that Kaji broke up you know i don't know like it's like i thought maybe like kaji got into some kind of you know uh dangerous stuff or something and he said that you know as usually in a few animes we see like he said that we should probably not be together like 
uh, obviously because he's a spy you know kind of a spy so maybe that was the reason why he like i thought he broke up or something i don't know uh like he's like doing some shady stuff the whole thing with adam as well so i thought maybe that's the reason why he said that yeah we should break up like you know the way <laughs> like misato kind of acted all of this episode it kind of implicated that but turns out that was not the case like misato was the one who did it so okay and then we get to the whole situation with asuka and shinji and god damn asuka was probably going to kill shinji in this episode and it would have been the end of this show <laughs> roll credits shinji died <laughs> oh god and then like they come back home and um now another thing a uh, weird thing happens here is like we see a place with huge machines or i don't know what the hell that was and in a test tube or whatever that was a glass tube ray was there i don't know what that means maybe um like she's sick or something that was some kind of a treatment that she was going through was that it i don't know but i'm sure we'll get the answers but yeah and then we uh, get to the last portion and the most shocking portion of this episode uh, kaji shows misato um, a place which was locked uh, which contains <clears throat> the adam and the adam was an is the first evangelion and the evangelion looks weird and uh, crucified in a red cross is that it yeah in a red cross and like half of the like it has half of its body and this angel looks nothing like the other angels it's like a humanoid shape and like half of the body is there and there are weird small little legs kind of protruding out of the belly i don't know what that is and there is this um thing that is piercing it uh what is that uh, uh i don't know what is that like a weird two like that's not a trident trident has three you know three pointy bits it has this has two pointy bits kind of like a trident so yeah i'm not sure what they call this thing uh but anyways and uh like it's crucified and there are like nails in the hands and yeah and also like it said yes this is the origin and the linchpin of everything since the second impact Okay, I'm not sure what he actually means by that, but I'm sure we'll get the answer. So, like, like according to him, this is the origin of everything after the second impact. So, anyways, okay, I'm, I extended this discussion a bit too much. So, yeah, we should start the next episode. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get started with episode number sixteen of Neon Genesis Evangelion. So, yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Like uh Okay, so this shows like um Shinji's dad's intentions are different than uh like the you know the councils. So the question is what is does he actually want? What is he doing with all of this stuff? Okay, breakfast. Oh 
What the? What's wrong? Why is she freak screaming? What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Projector happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, sickness onto death and hmm. again the tests. <laughs> oh Lord. Hmm. Oh, it's doing well. Oh, good job. Uh, what? What was she doing? <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I guess saw this coming. Yeah, the way he was talking about Shinji. Oh boy. Um, what? God, kids. Okay, what the hell is that? Is that an angel? Damn, what the? What is that? A weird ball in the sky. 2.5 kilometer per hour, okay. Okay. No AT field. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they'll have to bring the Evangelians out now. Then they don't even know how to deal with it. Ooh, damn! Look at that. Come on, Asuka, not now. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, this is not the time or place. Yeah. Oh my God, Shinji. Shinji, come on, don't get cocky. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, come on, like, you know, don't get too confident. We don't even know what this thing do does, you know. What? Oh, the board. Come on, like, 
You're going with the. Oh, okay. Changing it. Okay, Shinji, calm down. Like, you know? No, 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 no. Okay, goddamn. What the? Oh, great. This thing can teleport. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Yeah, like. Oh, God. Yeah, this thing is pretty. Oh boy, this thing is pretty dangerous. So this thing sucks up everything uh, with this shadow or something like that. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy, well... Oh, wow. Damn, then like... Sixteen hours. Oh boy. Uh, I'm sure that's not what she wants to say, but. Okay, that. <laughs> Splitting up the bro. What? Oh, he, okay, she is like. So it's like a weird dimension or something. Five hours since. Oh, since. That means four more hours. Okay. Six hundred and sixty minutes. Sea of Dirac. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is a different dimension. The Sea of Dirac. Something in the sky is the real shadow. Okay. Oh, black shadow that. Okay, getting into the sea of Dirac is pretty, um... Oh my god. 
Okay, don't get out, like, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, salvage. You drop off all 99 in two months, damn. All the remaining ever circuits for one millisecond close of energy and destroy it or something and destroy the angel along with the sea of Dirac oh wow. but <clears throat> yeah it's dangerous oh god Oh boy. Oh great, we're getting into the trippy potion again. <laughs> Another self within us. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> self. Oh my god. Wow. Travel <laughs> moments like a rosary. Ah, uh, right. Oh boy. Twelve minutes. Wait, what?
Yeah. What is happening? What? Wait a minute. Wait, that voice sounded a lot like Ray's voice. The same voice actor? Oh, damn. Yeah, the whole thing, they like. Oh. Oh, the, oh I thought they bombed the place. Okay. Zero. Wait. Okay. Damn. From the, like in the first episode, this also happened, you know, like there was no power or something like it completely started doing stuff on its own. Yeah. Copied from Fast copy. Yeah, what are they going to do with the Evangelions after that? And do we even know that can the angels be all destroyed? Like that's a big question. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Ray doesn't seem surprised, so does she know something? Oh, something else. Oh, wow. I've never thought this ever was fashion sense. Well, about that, it's... Yeah, they can, you know? Yeah. Oh, so Ray also doesn't know. Okay, I thought maybe Ray knew, like, because she was not surprised. But she's always stoic, you know, kind of. <laughs> God damn, Asuka. Well, blood won't come off. Oh boy. Okay, so. What, what the hell is this? 
Okay. What's with this ending? <laughs> the ending is... Um... Okay. I have to say, the ending is the most unique I've seen, you know, like, obviously I've seen a lot of unique endings, but like the way, you know, they kind of change the singers each and every episode, and also, you know, uh, like in this episode, it's kind of like new words are being like said. And, <laughs> okay. All right, so this episode, um, ah, okay, um. Let me collect my thoughts first. I'll, I'll, uh, quite a few things happened. <sighs> okay, so... Okay, so... Um, okay, in the, so in the first uh, portion, um, we see... Uh, okay, Asuka... Uh, said a thing to Shinji in this episode that is like the, the whole thing with running away that uh, running away and why do you always make everything as if it's your fault so making everything your fault is the best way to you know not face the problem like if you say something like ah oh, like this thing bad thing happened uh, if okay this is probably my fault like each and every time if you do something like that technically you're not facing the problem you know you're kind of running away making it like making uh the my fault a kind of a gateway for your escape so that was the thing that i think pissed asuka off in this episode in the beginning like uh shinji always saying that oh okay so it, it's probably my fault you know uh always uh whereas uh like i doubt he himself believes that yeah, I think he like he believes that in some way, like he kind of blames himself for a lot of things, but he just says it for the, you know, for the sake of it, just to run away from that problem. Like if you say that, yeah, this is my fault, what else would the other person say, you know, like that's the ultimate thing you can say that, yeah, this is my fault. Like, that's it. Like end of conversation. Like the other person won't like you already blamed yourself. What would the, even the other person like? Uh, say to you so yeah like that's like the ultimate you know escape route which shinji always takes and tries to run away from the problems not facing them which pissed uh asuka off because obviously she is the complete opposite of that she is always like saying that yeah i'm the best nothing is my fault <laughs> like <laughs> like shinji is like everything is my fault and asuka's like nothing is my fault everything is your fault so <laughs> You know, like how people usually, uh, like, so, like, Shin's, Shinji, I think, like, pieces ask off because of that. <laughs> like, he, like, she himself realizes her own mistakes. So, like, seeing that, uh, kind of brought up into light by, like, listening to Shinji, pieces her off. <laughs> like, you know, like, it's a weird thing. But, anyways, um, <laughs> okay, that and uh then uh we get to the portion where like shinji gets the best score and asuka as always asuka is jealous she like <laughs> she considers herself to be the best pilot uh, of like evangelion or whatever and yeah shinji being the best pissed her off she started ranting and <laughs> In the locker room, she started saying that, oh, the great mighty Shinji, like, he'll do everything for us from now on. We don't even to wag a, f like, uh, like, wag a finger. <laughs> and starts, like, demeaning him, him in a weird way. <laughs> uh, which Ray doesn't give a damn about. She just, like, leaves. <laughs> and Asuka gets even more pissed off. Oh, boy. Like, <laughs> like the characters in this... Like anime, you know, each and every one is kind of a unique specimen. <laughs> oh, okay, and um, and then we get uh, like like to the portion where this angel comes out. Um, okay, so this weird angel now it has like so the shadow was the upper portion and the body was the thing below. 
I think which like sucked Ray in or something something like that anyways so okay uh, not Ray sorry Shinji uh, like sucked Shinji in and uh, then like okay then like they say that like you know gives the orders ask us is that why shall I do it the oh great mighty Shinji who has gotten the top of the uh, like rankings he should do it and Shinji says that yeah I'm the best uh, I can probably do it and like he like he tries to you know act kind of <laughs> you know a bit overconfident a bit cocky and tries to do it now then here's the thing like um like by this is kind of like people can say that yeah shinji kind of got cocky and tried to do it himself so he uh, made a mistake and he got like you know uh, sucked in uh like in my opinion yeah that is kind of true you know but even if he was not cocky in this episode like i'm sure like something like this would have happened either way like they didn't even know what the hell the angel can do like probably uh, like if Shinji was not cocky this episode, obviously Asuka would try to you know capture that thing, uh, uh, not capture like defeat that thing, and like Asuka would have Asuka would have been sucked in, which I think would have been a bigger problem because we still don't know if you know Asuka's Evangelion can do the same thing that Shinji's Evangelion did this episode. Like we saw in like in the first episode how like Shinji's Evangelion started uh, like acting on its own. So it's the same here without any backup power without any electricity um, uh, Shinji's Evangelion saved Shinji in this episode so yeah and like we like if Asuka was like you know in the same position I'm not sure if she would have been able to you know come out unscathed she probably would be unable to survive or something I'm not sure so like you know like if Shinji got captured I think it was probably for the best because uh, we know that Shinji's Evangelion can do stuff on its own. So if like push comes to shove, if things get too messy, uh, Shinji's Evangelion would probably save Shinji. Because we saw, you know, like Shinji's Evangelion saved him a lot of times on its own. So that we can say. Now, yeah, and then uh, we get to Ritsuko, like Ritsuko saying that we will do this kind of stuff, you know, like we'll try to bomb the whole thing. Uh, and like within the little millisecond we get we'll like try to kill it and if Shinji gets like you know uh, the Evangelion protects Shinji it's all well and good and the priority is taking out the Evangelion Shinji's life is not the priority which pissed Misato off she slaps her across the face which is obviously something um, that is like yeah like obvious like she would have do done that like the way Lisko was talking and like the the question that Misato asked in this episode was extremely you know um like that, that that's something that we also want to know that I also want to know like what the hell is with the Evangelion why are they so prioritizing it you know they prioritizing the Evangelion more than Shinji so what's with that what is that a lot of secrets as like Misato said and um then like ask us like starts talking that Leia honestly talk about getting what he deserved like he started acting cocky so it's all his fault stuff like that which I'm sure she did not mean because obviously like you know you, like we all know Asuka like she is like that she like kind of rash and kind of you know uh, with her like words as well like she says stuff which I doubt she means herself and like in a similar manner she kind of said stuff like that which pissed Ray off and she says a good thing here you know like whatever you do is everything about getting praise and Asuka denies it but I don't like think that uh, Ray is wrong you know like the way Asuka acts it's always like yeah I did this thing I must be the best uh, I want to get praised I want everyone to kind of you know um, fuss over me that kind of an attitude which I am sure has a reason you know like every for everything there's a reason i think maybe maybe this is like you know uh asuka's personality is kind of related to her past i'm not sure i'm just you know thinking like she kind of talked about her mom in her sleep once and was crying and all so i don't know like maybe because of something in her past she is like this now always trying to be the best and 
I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm sure we'll understand everything. And yeah, and then um, like we get into this weird portion uh, where like Shinji like freaks out. And just a sec, let me just get to the portion. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here it is. Like he starts talking to himself now. Let me just play this portion again. Mm -hmm. Like there are a few things that they said here, and because I was reacting to, I was unable to properly like watch everything. Okay, Shinji says that who is there, and <laughs> okay, so then who is there? Shinji Ikari, that's me. I am you. People have another self within themselves. Okay, like we all know that. You know, like we talk to ourselves in a few moments. Like I, I'm sure, like everyone does. Or, or am I weird? <laughs> like you know, like you talk to yourself when you think about a few stuff. I, I think I've heard about this thing. You know, like there are a few people like, who is not like this. Like who are different. Like who. Uh, like does not have someone who they talk like you know when I'm like alone and thinking about something I usually like think it about like loudly in my own mind I think there are like a diff like a few people who does not do that I'm not sure I think I've heard about this from somewhere else I'm not sure I cannot remember where I've heard this but like there are two types of person you know a person a type of person who talks to himself in his own and a type of person who does not do that I don't know like I might be wrong but anyways Mm. okay yeah people have another self within themselves the self is always composed of two people <clears throat> okay two people the self which is actually seen and the self observing that the self which is usually seen that is me my outer pole like me myself and the self that is observing that okay so another self that is observing that me so a person within me it's like a video game you know <laughs> third person video games <laughs> yeah like isn't that it like third person video game like for example the main character in the screen that's the like person that like we are like everyone is seeing and the self that is that is us as players that is observing that okay that's like the most simple way i can like explain this like a video game a third person video game not any video game a third person video game like <laughs> yeah okay anyways self-observing that there are many entities called ikari shinji the other shinji ikari that exist in your mind okay the shinji ikari in misato kasuragi's mind in asuka soryu's mind rei ayanami's mind kendo ikari's mind all are different shinji ikaris okay that's quite true you know like everyone has a perceived you know perceived way they see others like uh, I myself think of myself in a certain way uh, my friend uh, probably who's sitting beside me has a different type of me in his or her own mind similar to that my uh, parents think of something else like when they envision me they see something else which obviously I am not like you know everyone has a perceived notion of others similar like um, I also have it like my friends I have a perceived notions of my friends which uh, like might be correct might be incorrect you know like we see people in a different light and like so that's where like everyone has different types of like people in their mind when they think about others quite true but each of them is a true ikari shinji yeah definitely you are afraid of those ikari shinjis in other people's minds now this is a good uh, like way they're like doing this now he like uh, this Shinji like the inner Shinji is saying that you are afraid of those Ikari Shinjis in other people's mind so he is afraid of how other people look at him you know that's an extremely common thing which everyone faces you know like um, what can I say like that's why we try to be good to people so that other people have the good impression of us you know and uh, like a lot of people like uh, there are like exceptions you know there are a lot of people who doesn't give a damn about what others think and there are people who say that they doesn't give a damn but they actually do and there are uh, people who actually does and they show it you know 
so yeah like and shinji is the latter one you know like he like is extremely concerned about how other people look at him how other people judge him and that's why like he always tries to take the blame himself runs away from problems and uh you know is kind of a uh, like passive person because he wants to be good in front of others which is obviously because of his dad you know like the way his dad like uh dad uh had a relationship with him in, like in his childhood their relationship uh ikari and his dads i'm sure that affected him in a way and it made him the person he is now he's so scared like you know how his dad judged him and said a few stuff and like he thinks that his dad doesn't want him stuff like that that kind of made him uh, like this so yeah yeah, I'm afraid of other people's hating me. Or everyone is. Yeah, you're afraid of. Okay, uh, like so he says that I'm afraid of people. Uh, what did he say? Just a sec. Um, I am afraid of other people hating me. You're afraid of being hurt. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing. Like he says that you are not afraid of people hating you. You're afraid of being hurt yourself because of that. So ultimately it's all because of himself you know like he tries to play it off as like you know like I am afraid of other people be like hating me that's not it you're not afraid of that you're afraid of being hurt yourself problem is yours damn okay so who is at fault father is the one inside okay yeah i said this before you know like his dad is kind of at fault because of, like of uh, like the personality he has now because you know the father who deserted me he says it's my fault then he again says that it's my fault like you know like after he said that it's like dad's fault then he suddenly realizes that oh like no like if i see something like this he'll hate me and then he says that oh it's my fault it's not my dad's fault and then he again remembers Asuka's like lecture when he said that you always blame yourself when it's not even your fault. Like that's like you're running away from your problems. <sighs> wow. I can't do anything. You can just believe that you can't do anything. You can just believe that you can't do anything. Don't you have faith in your father? I think I hate him but now I'm not sure. Yeah and then he remembers uh, his father's praise. Good work Shinji. Yeah, I was praised by my father. You're going to spend the rest of your life ruminating on that happiness. <sighs> if I believe in these words, I can keep on living. And then he says that. As you continue to deceive yourself. Everyone does it, that's how everyone survives. That's quite true, you know. People kind of deceive themselves. But not every, like, uh, all the time. Like, that's not something. Like, in difficult times, people kind of deceive themselves and get a... Uh, uh, like peace of mind and that's how they survive as he says damn there's too much hardship in this world for me to keep living for example the <laughs> we can't float like we can't swim wow you've shut your eyes and turned a deaf ear to everything that you want to hear Oh boy, yeah. See, you're running away again. There's no way you can live by linking just the enjoyable moments like a rosary. Wow, especially not me. So he's saying that uh, like you found a few good things and you are like stringing it like a rosary and like living off of it, you know, and you are running away from your problems. Like you are only hand picking, cherry picking the good things and uh, like trying to live because of that, which I'm sure a lot of people does and like runs away from the problems, which I cannot like, you know, say that it's wrong completely because a lot of people survive like this and kind of like live like this. That's not wrong. But in the end, you know, you have to face your problems. Otherwise, like you'll always keep running away and always try to pick the good stuff but what like what if someday that uh, ha it hap it as so happens that you run out of good things what will you do then like you'll have nothing to live off 
and you'll just be running away from your problems. Boy. And then he says like, what's wrong in that? Like, yeah, as I said, like, it's not, there's nothing wrong about that. Like, different people live different lives. Different people live in different ways and they have different ways of like survival, as he said, the inner Shinji said. But if you do it like that, you'll always be running away. And as I said, that if someday you run out of the good things, what will you do then? Okay. And then uh, the, uh, the whole like Evangelion thing. Uh, no, and then like he starts like hallucinating and like thinking about his past and stuff. And now here's a weird thing that happens. He remembers, okay, I want to really, you know, uh, listen to this. Like, I don't know, like when he sh they showed their mom's silhouette. Just a sec. Okay, here it is. Like, there's this tree. Shinji is there. Are you ready? His mom says. Mo you know. So, yokatta wa ne. Her voice. It's the same voice actor of Ray. Okay, and and then the like um they get ready to do the like mind drop or whatever they were trying to do, like salvaging uh full salvage uh, salvage uh, salvaging or whatever. But before that, the Evangelion like Shinji's Evangelion gets like you know like. It gets berserk and it cuts open the whole like thing and comes out starts screaming uh, Ritsuko gets scared looking at it and he she says something she says that so this is what we're copying it off this uh, dangerous thing <sighs> okay so I'm not sure what she actually means by that you know so that means like they're copying off Evangelion like from something and Risco like Misato said that so this is not something like Evangelion is not is not copied from the angels it's something different then I'm sure we'll get more answers later on you know and then like Shinji is saved Misato starts crying and then Ritsuko talks with uh, Shinji's dad uh, and says that our Evangelists really are, are on our side they might hate us okay more questions I'm sure we'll get more answers later on and here's the thing after that we see like Rei sitting beside Shinji in that uh, white hospital or whatever here's it Ray says the same words that his mom did. Like, just let me just play that portion again. Uh, Shinji says that I'm fine now. And so, Yopata wa ne? Voice is the same. So, I don't know. Like, usually animes have, you know, uh, different, uh, like, different characters with the same voice actor. But I think this is quite different because like you know in the previous episode Shinji kind of said that you look like like you are like my mom or something. So I don't know, is like Rei Shinji's sister or something? Like that kind of you know would answer a few questions. Like why um you know like why Shinji's dad is so affectionate towards Rei? Is that it? Like, maybe, you know, like, he also, like, finds her, like, his mom in Ray. That means that, uh, like, somehow related to him. It's, like, it's somehow related to his mom. Which would probably mean that maybe, like, you know, as they say, like, uh, like, children looks and, like, uh, looks and are a lot like their parents. So that means if, like, Ray is maybe, you know, Shinji's sister or, uh, like, I don't know how, but still, like, if, like, and I don't know, like, no, not stepsister. It cannot be a stepsister sister because then how would she think? Like he think that it's uh, like Ray is like his mom, probably his biological, you know, sister, like uh, his dad's biological daughter, maybe, 
or his mom's biological daughter. So that's why, like, you know, he finds similarities uh, of his mom in Ray. Yeah, that, that might be it. And their voice is also so similar, you know, like whenever looking at Ray, he like Shinji remembers his mom. I don't know, maybe that's it. And, and then we, in the end, we see Asuka was eavesdropping as always Asuka, you know, <laughs> Sundare Asuka. <laughs> oh, God. And then, um, OK, now two things I missed, uh, which I should probably discuss. One thing is like when the Evangelion kind of, you know, uh, started uh, acting on its own at that moment. Before that moment, Shinji felt as if mom was embracing him, you know, in, uh, like uh, like in the mental thing that was happening. So, like, he felt his mom. Maybe his mom is somehow connected to the Evangelion or something that he's, like, you know, doing. Maybe it's something related to his mom. And maybe that is also the reason why, like, Shinji's dad is so, wants to protect the Evangelion or something. I don't know. Anyways, we don't even know how his mom died, you know. So, yeah. And okay, that and another thing is that Dirac C now or Didac, what, what's the pronunciation? Uh, I think it's Didac or Dirac. Okay, uh, like this is a thing, I never knew this, you know, but I came to know about the Dirac C from uh, Hong Kai Impact. Um, uh, like sea of quanta sea of D D D dirac and it's like a like whole like thing with quantum mechanics i'm not actually like i've never like read about this quite like much i should probably do it now because like like evangelion also has this whole dirac thing so uh, i should like i'll probably like study up on it so it's like a, you know like kind some kind of a quantum like uh like quantum entity as like sea of it's like saying it's a theoretical model of the vacuum of an infinite sea of particles with negative energy uh, like uh, you know it's one of those things related to like time travel and stuff so like i should probably you know study up on this like like it's kind of like like the i never knew about this thing but uh, like uh, in Hong Kai impact there's this whole direct sea or like sea of quanta stuff like that so uh yeah so that's why like after hearing this it, like i'm sure like it like after like hearing it in this episode kind of thought that oh so this is the same thing so yeah like i can see a lot of things you know like uh, honka impact took from like you know took uh like what can you say like um uh like took um you know inspiration yeah inspiration inspiration from hong uh, like from evangelion like the whole like impact, the second impact, the third impact, the first impact, that thing, um, the whole uh, like uh, the whole thing with like you know the uh, angels like it's kind of like it's there there it's like the home guy and it's here and it's like the angels and uh, like people trying to save the earth that thing um, the whole thing with um, you know like Sele like they're like saying that there's a character in Hong Kai impact called Sele. Uh, like that and uh, a lot of others like the like as they said the Dirac C in this episode yeah it's kind of like you know cool to hear about these things and like Evangelion came out a lot of years ago so obviously like Honka Impact took inspiration from Evangelion so yeah so anyways I have been talking for quite a while I should stop it now because yeah like obviously like uh, this episode had a lot of things and I had to talk about all of these you know things so yeah i think you know uh, the like time will increase from the like in the in the previous episodes like there was stuff but like especially these two episodes a lot of things we had to discuss a lot of you know new information a lot of new things so yeah anyways so thank you guys for watching so this was neon genesis of Angelian episode number um Oh, what was 15 and 16 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys uh, i'll be back with two new episodes of uh <laughs> on justice evangelion next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day